Welcome, welcome, Capricorns. I'm Key. I'm Kiki. We're now in the Akashi Records Library. So let's see what books want to reach out to us. For August, mid-August to September 2019. Wow. The character is coming out as the Eight of Earth. Very skilled. Definitely concentrating on a particular book. That book gives awareness and an opportunity to see, not just in the book, but as a person. Them too play a significant role or a central role on what character. The character can have a personality that is very articulate. I was feeling that earlier dark blue to communicate. That topic's in relation to the sun. Happy outcomes and brilliant new ideas lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. This character is having more confidence in themselves. Looking at who they are as a person. Just like in the book they're reading. Can influence not just their life, but others as well. To the point where people look at the eight of earth as the sun. Wow. Getting the confidence in themselves. Whatever it is that they're building confidence in took a lot of experience. To not only experience it for eight years, but to actually see it in a book in many books about this particular topic. Skill work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school can also mean like going back to school, looking at a person's life. Maybe this character is looking at how they look at confidence. The Eight of Earth may feel or read about, how does that relate to the devil? Well, in the Tarot, Capricorn is a symbol of the devil. But what really is the devil? When we look in the Tarot, it says how we build companies, connections, contacts the luxury, lifestyle, but most importantly, the things that we do to obtain it. Is that really devilish? If it was, would everybody be doing it? What is considered showing confidence like the devil? Aren't we all like that? I know for me, when showing that side of myself, the left ear is ringing. That meant doing something that my primal nature wanted to do. Where I knew it could be seen as wrong but look, that is right. Hmm. What would that mean? What would be an example of that? Temperance. Action in how the character takes in showing emotions and logic. 
Hmm. Emotions seem like it's not real, but logic is real to others. What is considered logic? The things we say. But sometimes the things we say, could it also have a playing role as a negative? Speaking in a way where it shows not just the angelic side of ourselves, but the shadow side, the devil side of ourselves at the same time. How to balance that out? Hmm. Balance it out. So, to balance that out, that means it would have to mean it both exists in everyone. Is this figuring out the temperance? The roles of love is still here. The passion is here for the character. Is understanding how to explain both those sides while delivering at the same time. The Eight of Earth does love. It's probably how it, it is spoken may seem like it's not complete. Hmm. What would make the sunny side? The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles shows a loyalty, honor. What is the honor? The honor of being them true self. As a person, the character, the Eight of Earth, is the Knight of Pentacles, the sun. So just like the sun, we also need the moon. The moon would be considered like the devil side of self, if we had to see it as a physical. So being loyal to their sunny side and being just as loyal, honored, and kind towards their shadow side at the same time, that would require a lot of skill and patience to experience that. That would mean they would have to experience it, not just in the books, but seeing how it relates to their outside world. Wow. Accepting both as a earth sign. A lot of times I am sweet or I'm a nice person. I care, but at times it will look like I'm careless. Doesn't mean that the careless side outweighs the care. Or does the care outweigh the careless side? Wouldn't I have to show both? I wonder, is that what the Eight of Earth is feeling like? Can you relate to that? Hmm. Capricorns? To defend or not give up on trying to figure this out. The Eight of Earth is seeing that it's not just in the books that you get the explanation. It's also seeing how the books or things that does relate to the subject shows in our everyday life. So when, not just figuring that part out, but seeing that part, how to defend it though, when realizing it. When we look at or when we read books, is it always going to be a sunny side to a character that we have to see or be shown? Sometimes we also have to see the shadow side of a character to see how both parts of that one individual is complete. We can't accept one without the other. It's this figuring and defending that. And you have 
the character, Eight of Earth, has the opportunity both times in their life to see how to not only face it, but to deal with that in a way where it shows they care. It seems that even other people may have experienced that in their life, just in a different way. How do they balance it out too? That's where that opportunity comes in. Wow. Ooh. Okay, hold on. It's getting fast, so that means I gotta move it fast. Okay, Capricorn, the character is seeing that communicating with focus is the best formula. Because it shows that they took their time and how they're explaining it. They're showing not just the favorite side of who they are as a character, but the not so favorite side of who they are as a character. So when building a foundation with anybody in their life, that person can really see who they are and see how they play a role of being that fourth fire or that opportunity of fire ace of fire to have we all play a role wow from being loyal and dedicated to not just one side of who they are but the other at this time Capricorns Libra in the Akashi records are reading their book I see how now it plays a significant role. How we see ourselves, our self-esteem, the character, the eight of earth is honestly a complete person as a character, but always in search of finding if they are complete, always leaves them in questioning of it. And when we question things that we know we are, but we're not sure, our, our lives kind to, are kind of a way of showing us that. But no matter what, the aid of earth becomes very successful at how they see their self-esteem by seeing themselves, really seeing themselves, and seeing that if they're seeing themselves completely, then others around them have seen them truly for who they are and not just parts of themselves. So, give some money, time, or effort will come to the Cap Capricorn character. New career opportunities, recovering or receiving, recovering, loan or paying off debts, recovering from a loan by paying off debts, showing all sides of who you are is the sun to everyone, including yourself. That is the greatest gift that anyone can give. When we're not ashamed of every part of who we are, we can smile at the sunny side of who we are. But the devil side of who we are, we like to dismiss it. How can we dismiss that? That's like dismissing the moon or that's like dismissing the sun. We would need both to sustain or survive on this planet. So... If we had to see the planet within us, it's like accepting the sun and the moon within us. Two presents want to come out for you or for the Capricorn character. Let's see. Asia Celtic. Wow. Also, Libra and Capricorn. Libra and Cancer is in the Akashi Records right now. When being my complete self, showing the side that I usually do not show, which is reading the Tarot, I had to take it literally outside in the green. In a place that will be considered sacred, like a park where people publicly go and do you really want to see 
um, someone's principle or what they practice in a public place. Yet, when feeling comfortable being myself and not this, yes, I was scared of, okay, a person may judge me for bringing the tarot out and reading them as books, but knowing that at that moment, even if a person sees me as a stranger, at some point they will see this part of me anyway. If I truly care about them, this would have been a part I would have shown them. So why not show them up front? Even if you haven't, showing them to begin with is the most important part. I met someone that looked like they were from Asia descent. And this person was a male. This person did not have to come to speak to me at the table when I was alone reading the tarot books by myself. Yet, just like one thing, we had something in common. Two strangers just talking together in the park with other people. What is the similarity? And how can we put those pieces together as a full package? This person up close had to see that not only do I love to roll or reading energy or elements, I love how to see that connect to other people. In fact, testing it out did show how I did have the opportunity to speak to a random stranger and how it related to even the children and other adults when we had to talk to one another. Remembering that we are just two strangers trying to get to know each other. That part, no one can tear down. So, let's see. If these are all the books that wanted to be shown. Okay, one more one to come out. The root of it all. The fool. Is it foolish to think like that? No. I might have looked like the fool while reading this book with you, but we're here together to read this particular book. It's for a reason. We may not know why, like any books that we read when we go to an actual library. To me, this is our actual Akashi Records library. I worked in libraries in my life. I've come across other individuals that had their own Akashi records whenever I met them. To me now, at this moment with you, I'm learning that everybody that I will meet and that you will meet is Akashi records of themselves. And remembering that will show a power in its own. That is not foolish. That shows vulnerability and character of knowing who you are is complete. And when you face and look at somebody, even though it may appear as if they are sure about themselves or they are stable and know that they're, they have their self together, does not mean that it's never an opportunity to reveal that we never really know until we find out by being the character of the fool. I cannot wait to see you again in the Kashi Records Library. For now, just like you, I will have to experience what that means to truly be the fool and keep going forward and not backwards. And even when looking back, that doesn't mean we had to forward ourselves backwards. But to see how where we came from shows us exactly where we're about to go and bring forth more of our character. Every day is a learning lesson not just for you or for me, but for everyone. And just because you have an open mind does not mean that others do not. It's just have an opportunity to be able to share that. Press the like button, share, and subscribe. Please press the bell button. The blue button will tell you when we can meet again. 
It's so much I have to do and I will not have the time to really see you. But when the time is right, you will know that the moment I come back to the library with you by you pressing the subscribe and the bell button, we will see you on the other side.